perform foot care, I will start by gathering my supplies. So two washcloths and a towel from the linen closet. So I would sanitize my hands and get those clean supplies. Knock on the resident's door. Hi, Leah, I'm here to take care of your feet today. Is that okay? I will provide for privacy. Wash my hands. I get Lee's basin and put some warm water in the basin. I'm gonna raise the bed up. I'm gonna raise you up here, Lee. Okay. I'll have Lee check the water, either with his hand, or again, I can use the wet washcloth and place that on his hand. Get my gloves on. This can be done in bed or in a chair. If the resident is sitting in a chair, you'll put a barrier on the floor and a towel on top of that. So like a paper towel and then a towel on top of that and then the basin could go on that towel. When the resident is in bed, we're just going to expose just the foot again. And put the towel down in bed to keep the bed dry. Left underneath the knee. Get the basin here. Okay, Lee, I'm gonna lift up your foot and put it in the basin. I'm gonna hold by the back of your knee so we don't hurt your joints. Okay, does that feel okay? So typically you would let them soak for anywhere from five to 20 minutes, depending on their comfort level um, and what their needs are. Again, with diabetics, you wanna look in between the toes very carefully and make sure there's no open areas there as diabetics are more prone to infection. So after they have soaked for at least five minutes, I'll wet the washcloth. Get soap on the washcloth. And then wash the foot. Going in between the toes carefully. Make sure get the bottom of the foot. And again, inspecting the skin to make sure there's no open areas on the bottom. Again, diabetics have a hard time feeling the bottom of their feet, so they may not even know that they have an open area there. And I'll take the other washcloth. Rinse the foot. Getting in between the toes. Still have that on a barrier. And I'll return that foot to the towel. Put my dirty washcloths in my linen bag. And then dry the foot. And we're just going to pat gently. Dry in between the toes to reduce any moisture and skin issues. All right, and then to apply lotion, I won't put lotion on the mannequin, but I would put that on my gloved hand and warm up the lotion in between my hands. And then I want to cover the foot especially the heels, that's a good place where cracks can occur. And then over the top of the toes, but we never wanna put lotion in between the toes. Again, that's a great place to, it's moisturizing, and that's a great place for pathogens to, to grow. If I do happen to get lotion between the toes or if there's a lot of extra lotion that hasn't really been absorbed, I can just take the towel and wipe that lotion out from in, in between the toes or if there's any extra on the toe. Okay, Lee, I'm gonna lift your knee up again. Okay. So this could be repeated on the other foot. If the basin is big enough, you could put both feet in at the same time if the resident can tolerate that position. I'll put my linens in the linen bag. And ask Lee if he's comfortable. I'm gonna lower the bed. Give a 
its whole pleat. Make sure the bed is locked. He's got his call light. And I would keep my gloves on, bring the basin to the sink, dump the water out, wash with soap, rinse, and dry the basin. Remove my gloves. Sanitize my hands. And make sure Leah is comfortable before I go. Open up the curtain, take my dirty linens with me, and then report any skin issues or any pain that Lee reported to the nurse.